Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to the wonderful land of Bengal. Last episode, we failed in our attempt to vassalize Assam because other people kept declaring war on him, so we'll go to Assam later. In the meantime, we annexed our other two vassals, Turhut and Coach, so we have 10 more base tax. Uh, we got some soldiers out of them, but our force limit didn't really increase when we annexed them, so uh, we're just going to sit on that for a little while. We're currently fabricating on Arissa's vassal Garjit, and also on Garwal up here. Garwal has no allies, so I'm going to go annex him. And uh, Arissa really isn't that strong. I think he'd make a, a good target for aggression. However, our truce is still intact, so we're going to have to wait for the truce to burn out. Oh, there we go. Truce just ended. Excellent. So we'll see if any of our allies want to join a war against these guys. Truces are up. Truces are up. Fantastic. And it's time to tech up our admin. Hooray! And we're going to take our first idea group of Humanist. Yes, indeed. Welcome to the Humanist idea group. Benefits include no revolts ever. Well, it can happen. And also free religious conversion of your provinces. Being Humanist gives you uh, a small chance. There's MTTH for events for positive relations with all of your neighbors or negative relations with all of your neighbors. I think it's only positive 20 or negative 20, but it can have a big effect if you're trying to vassalize someone, trying to get an alliance with someone, or trying to avoid getting a coalition against you, then that positive 20 relations with all your neighbors can be really cool. Uh, but yeah, the, the free religious conversion is also really, really strong. And since every single province we own is the wrong religion, anything converting would be kind of cool, just so we don't have to worry about revolts for a while. Why don't we do a Half-Life 2 LP? Oh, there you go. Assam was just full annexed by Utsong. Now, are you still small enough to annex? Sure, he's only 66 war score for the entire nation, so that would be a nice vassal. That'd be a really nice vassal. Holy crap. Yeah, I think Utsong's gonna be a good vassal for us. Although he is allied to Sarig Yogur, and Sarig Yogur is no joke. Sarig Yogur is this... Uh, horde up here. He's a one province miner, and he's only a one base tax, but he's a horde. He's got good tech, he's got good units, and at the beginning of the game, even a one province miner with one base tax is strong if they're a horde. Uh-oh. John Poor is embargoing us. Uh-oh. No. Leave me alone, John Poor. Do not declare war. It will be your downfall. You will regret this. Oh, I can become Defender of the Faith? Do I want this? Morale of armies. Less war exhaustion, more prestige. Oh, that is tempting, but I think I'll hold on to my cash. I kind of forgot about Defender of the Faith, because playing as uh, Vinland in the other campaign, Norse doesn't get Defender of the Faith, because they're a pagan religion. Alright, so we have our CB to go annex Garwal. Do I want to do that right now? Or should I attack Arissa first? Uh, let's see. VJ won't join. Why not? Because VJ is in debt. When is VJ not in debt? Hmm. Stop being in debt, VJ. Distant war and distant war and debt. So Delhi... Sindh and Vijay will not join, but Malwa will join, but he only has eight troops. Hmm, what about Gondwana? I can't see Gondwana's army. That's Malwa's vassal. What do you have, Gondwana? Only three troops, so that's only 11 troops on my ally's side. And how many does Orisa have? Like nine? Nine, precisely. Okay, and your vassal Garjit has how much? Four. So 13, 15. It's 15 troops from Orissa. And his allies are Madurai and Vinod. I guess I don't really care about Madurai and Vinod. They're so far away, they, they can't be an impact. So 15 troops versus my 20. I think we'll be okay. E yeah, we should be okay. Gunswana, do you have, access? Do you have um, claims? No, no claims. All right. Oh, Twitch chat, I have a question for you. 
if I take Garget as my vassal, I don't want to, but let's just let's just say hypothetically, he's currently a march under Orisa. If I in the peace deal demand that this march becomes my vassal, does he stay as a march? Does he become my march? Or does he become my vassal? I wonder if Twitch chat knows that. Let me know, Twitch chat. If you've ever had that experience, let me know. Because I am curious. Also, I think we're just going to do this war. I think we're just going to do this war. So let's get our maintenance up. He becomes a vassal, not a march. Okay. Thank you, Chris. I'm glad someone knows. You tried with Moldavia, he becomes a vassal. That's fantastic. I am worried about rebels here in this province, because we had that event to give plus 15 revolt risk. It brought the base revolt risk up to 15. But so far we haven't had rebels yet. Oh right, diplomats. Whoops. Rip. Might as well do Malwa. Yeah, Vagina Gar, you're gonna have to kill these rebels at some point. He's just letting them siege province after province after province, but he's not actually killing them. I think Arissa's doing the same thing. Yeah, Arissa's just letting these rebels ravage this country. He's not actually stopping them. It's a weird strategy, Arissa. Let's see if it pays off. <laughs> Bold move, Cotton. Oh, shit. Corruption. Oh, man. Lose stability. I can't do that. Or gain inflation. I can do that, but man, does that suck. Yeah, that, in that inflation caused our our income to go down by 0.4 ducats. Wasn't I going to eat the small OPM Northeast Theater country? You mean this guy? Yes, I will. But I think is a better target because he's weak right now. Arissa has rebels right now, and his allies are crap. He's allied to two one-province miners. So I think he's a good target right now. Alright, come on home. I've only got two claims over here, so I'm just going to take two provinces and move on. I get there in time? Oh yeah, he's gonna crush. Lol, crushed. I'll leave a couple guys there. Is it a level two or level three? Level two. Excellent. Oh no, the rebels won. Gosh darn it, as soon as we declared the war, his rebels won. Meaning, I think those troops become his army now. Yeah, they did. So his army just increased because those rebels became his army now. Screw you, game. How dare you do that to me? <laughs> That's some bullshit. Give me the discipline guy. <laughs> game just threw me a curveball. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. The rebels did not win. The rebels did not win. They're still sieging. All right, the game did not throw me a curveball. The game is being totally fair, and I am full of crap. Oh, good. We uh, sunk some of Arissa's fleet. So that means our navy can keep on patrolling the trade node. Good. Keep on patrolling. Do your job, navy. Alright, slow down time. He's just going to stand in Rajpur. That's fine with me. Yep, you go ahead and siege that. That's fine. You have troops in foreign territory. Yeah, but they're not black flagged. Why are you telling me about this? They're not black flagged. They're fine. They're in allied territory, dummy. Now, if he's content to siege, then I can put the speed back up. 
if he ever stops sieging, then I'll take the speed down. Uh, what I'm going to do is swap out the general into this mercenary army, and he can go help sieges. Because he's got the plus two siege. He's got the double siege pip thing. Should siege relatively quickly here. Yep, there goes the Arisi rebels. Good job, Arisi rebels. I love how my first reaction, my first reaction anytime, anytime I see shit like that, because the, the rebel province just unsieged down there. Anytime I saw that, the first reaction is like, oh, gang, you're fucking me. That's my first reaction. It's just always my first reaction. The game is somehow trying to fuck me over. My brain just goes there. Sri Gilgur, Ladakh, and Mananyan. I think we can beat that. Delhi's losing some land here. That's not good. Sindh is kind of a crappy ally because his army strength is so small. I'm going to start working on Garjit, actually. Gujarat. I think he'll be a good ally. Once we turn on Vaginagar, Gujarat's going to be a strong ally for that. Bamanis, too. Bamanis might be really useful against Vaginagar. He still wants an alliance. We turned down his alliance offer, and he still wants an alliance. So when we break our alliance with Malwa, we'll switch. We'll switch to Gujarat and Bamanis instead of Malwa and Vaginagar. But before we do that, I think I want to take out Jonpur first, with Malwa's help. Oh wow, they're getting super lucky on the siege over here. They don't even have a siege general. They don't even have a siege general, and they're getting super lucky on their siege. Wow. They, don't have, they did not get the walls busted. They're just getting good events every time. I mean, it happens, but holy crap, they're getting mega lucky. Mega lucky. Look at that, they got another, they got another positive roll. They might even finish before we do, because of these luck. You and your luck. Get out of here with your luck. Shen has too much inflation, so he doesn't get $5 out of the $5. Oh, you mean when you sub? Yeah, yeah, yeah. On Twitch, when you sub, it's five. It's four ninety nine to sub. It's $5 to sub, but I only get half of that. You're right. Do not forget, you need to make a path to Japan and eat Kyoto and Echizen. They're both silk. Oh! Japan has two silk provinces. Oh, okay. I thought they just had one. Cool. Thanks for letting me know. Our truce is up with Garwal. Alright, well, he's available, so I could eat him next. He still has no allies, so I think that's what we'll do. Kangra also has no allies. I don't get why the AI has no allies up here. They could ally each other. They could ally Delhi. They could do anything, but they're not. And the Timurids are actually doing okay. He's putting down his rebellion here. Wow. Persia's eating Balochistan. Persian conquest of Kamalar. Is that this province? It sure is. Okay, so Persia's coming in. That means we're going to want to break our alliance with Sin soon, and I think our next ally is going to be Persia. Yeah, he'll be a good ally for a while. Until I need his silk. <laughs> Influx of unbelievers. Uh oh. Gain piety or lose piety? I'm going to lose the piety. Gain piety is nice because you get morale bonus for your armies. But I'm, go I'm going for tech. Cheaper tech. And the tech cost is based off of piety as well. If you get to full negative 100 piety, you can get 10% uh, cheaper tech, which is kind of cool. Wow. For all the luck they had early on, now they've been unlucky. They've been at 35%. They've been failing that siege again and again and again. Vaginagar lost our marriage. We should be able to get our marriage back, though. Let's go siege his capital. All right, come back from Malwa. And let's see if he wants peace yet. Right, 11%. That's probably not enough for peace. No, not enough for peace. And this isn't really high demand anyway. It's only 13 demand. But we're also going to say we want war reps. And... Da, 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 da. That's probably all we want, really. Maybe some money as well. Yeah, 30 ducats, whatever. It's something. Oh, 
his navy's back out. He wants to party. He wants to party. He wants, he wants to party. We should win this. Didn't even lose a boat. Panjab is out, and Delhi is now a two-province miner. Man, I wonder if he if he shrinks any more, I might be able to peacefully vassalize him. <laughs> he's got three vassals. He's got three vassals, and he's only a two-province miner. That's so sad. Uh, yeah, we might be breaking our alliance. Oh man, we might be breaking our alliance with Delhi soon. What I'm thinking is, if we go full annex Garjet, we can fabricate on Delhi. Full annex Delhi. He's only worth 50. Full and Deli, take over his vassals. But I don't really want those vassals, do I? They're pretty crap vassals. One base tax, two base tax, one base tax. Yeah, it's only four base tax. Maybe I should let him annex his vassals, and then I'll annex him. I'm totally your loyal ally, Deli. Anyone who says otherwise is a liar and a cheat. I'm going to stick with Deli till the end of the game. That's what I've told everyone. And I'm a man of my word. Alright, he finished his siege of Raipur, and now he's coming for me and his capital, which means I should probably back off. I don't want to get caught with my pants down here. So if I'm in Jarkand, all of my armies can back each other up. Yeah. Come at me, bro. And if he just wants to siege, that's fine too. Because I should be able to take out this little three stack very easily. Four stack, whatever. Do we have ticking war score? I think we do, right? Yeah, we do have ticking war score. We can get another 20 war score just by sitting on our butt. I'm not going to wait that long, but we could. Wow, and now my ally is getting... Incredibly unlucky with this siege. 50% forever. Oh, there we go. Now he finished. Alright, that might be enough to peace out. I guess we'll find out soon. Oh, not this crap again. Well, twice in a row now, we've chosen the negative 10% uh, morale, which is unfortunate. But it's not really hurting that much. It hurts. Alright, let's see if they want peace. I'm not asking for too much. Just two base tacks. No, he won't peace out. I can demand more money now. Okay. Wow, the supply limit here is nine. That is some shitty supply. It's because it's jungle. Jungle supply limit is just garbage. Yeah, it's all jungle. Oh, man. Terrible supply limit. Why do I want this land? <laughs> oh, man. Truce with Kangaroo is over. Okay. I'll keep this window up just in case he wants peace. It might change to a check mark at some point. Let's see. I think what we're going to do is leave just the Mercs here. It's a level 2 fort, right? That's a level 3. Alright, I'll leave one more guy. Okay. 
We do have the siege bonus there, so hopefully we can pop it down fast. He's also got rebels being successful down here. That might influence him. Yeah, the rebels are helping. His resolve for peace is uh, it's coming around. Come on, baby. Don't be stubborn. I know you want peace. I want peace, too. Peace of mind. Come on. Come on. Not yet. Ah, we got the walls busted on his capital. As soon as his capital falls, he'll peace out, right? Well, unfortunately, he sieged up uh, Mindapur, Midnapur, before I siege his capital down. But his capital should be the lynch. Should be the um, cornerstone, the keystone, linchpin. His capital will be the reason why he pieces out. I love my general right now. He's terrible at combat, but man, is he a good siege general. That two pips of siege makes all the difference. Interesting that he's not looking to push anywhere else. I think he really wants to attack my army in the capital, so he's just not going to go siege anything else. Come on. Come on. Don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. He's gonna be that guy. <laughs> He's a douche. Huh, oh, John Poor's not embargoing us anymore for some reason. And we're fail sieging like a pro here. So good at fail sieging, man. Come on, let me peace out. Are we going to record City Skylands today? No, not today. The nail in the coffin. That's the thing. Thank you for the nail in the coffin comment. You're absolutely right. Is there anything else I want to do? we got the war reps. I don't really want his vassals. I could get rid of his alliance, I guess. No, he won't do it. All right, that's fine. I really wish I could do Humiliate, uh, but... The only reason I can't do it is because I can't separate piece his vassals. If I could separate piece his vassals, then I could humiliate Arissa, but... Alright, this will have to do. Yay, two more provinces. And our supply limit is only 11. Oh my god, the supply limit is so bad. 11 supply limit. It's because it's a jungle. Oh man, that's bad. And that's with a level 2 fort. Wow. Tropical? Yeah, so because this area is a tropical climate and it's a jungle. Oh man, that's just so bad. Let's see if we can prevent these rebels from spawning. They really want to spawn. But we'll see if we can prevent it. Lower the supply or lower the whatever it's called. Maintenance right now. How's our force limit? Still 18. Did not get any force limit out of that, unfortunately. Uh John Poor, how you doing, bro? Still I like to Gujarat and Malton. Gujarat, you want an alliance? No. Malton, let's work on you. Let's also work on Persia. Persia is going to be important. Alright, so that lowers the revolt risk by a little bit. Not much. Is there a revolt risk guy? Nope. <laughs> Why can't I get a revolt risk guy? My horse. My horse. My kingdom for a horse. I'm sure I got that quote wrong. Well, that was a good war for us. 
Next up will be Garwal, who still has no allies. Oh no, I'm sorry. He got an alliance. Jonpor has declared war on Garwal. Oh. So Jonpor is now at war with Punjab. Interesting. Yep. Oh, he didn't call his allies into the war. He didn't call Molten or Gujarat into the war. Oh, there we go. Gujarat's in the war. But not Molten. Huh. Okay. Yay! National Unrest minus two for five years. Thank you, Humanist Group. I love Humanist Group. So good. Well, there goes Garwal. It's unfortunate. I wanted that land, but someone took it. Someone took my land. Aha, humanist. Yes, religious unity plus 25. That puts us at 75 unity. Oh no, it will once our legitimacy hits 100. We'll be at 75 unity. Oh, that's gonna be so good. That should lower our revolt risk by a little bit. We just gotta get our legitimacy up, which takes time. Aha, the first war between the Mamluks and the Ottomans means the Ottomans took a whole bunch of land. Look at this. Wow. What is this, Victoria 2? That's typically what they do in Victoria 2. They just eat that chunk. Like, nom nom nom, mine. Yeah, provincial unrest, but it'll go away. It will. Okay, now you're annexing Gondwana. So we're going to get a direct border here between Malwa and ourselves, and that could cause some border friction. I mean, just a little bit, but that'll increase over time. So we might break our alliance and set them as a rival soon. Like, I can do it right now. And trust me, as soon as he borders us, I might want to do it. Like, right then. And if I do, that'll give me some bonus relations with Miwar and Gujarat. And I do want that alliance with Gujarat. Oh, look, he's friendly. Someone's gone friendly. Someone's gone friendly. na 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 Da, da, da. Someone's gone friendly. Alright, I could see that working out for us. I could really see that working out for us. So what am I thinking? I'm thinking we go to war with Malwa. We take over this vassal. How long will it take for him to annex this vassal? Four years to annex him. Yeah, so we declare war on Malwa. Take over that vassal as my vassal. Does he have claims or cores on anything? If I could click on him. He has one core on Malwa, but that's it. Or I could full annex Malwa. Oh my god, that'd be a, so much aggressive expansion. But that would make us so strong. Full annex him, that would give us the vassal. Wow, can you imagine? Can you fucking imagine? Oh my goodness. I am... That just seems so aggressive, though. Can you imagine if we did that, how pissed off the rest of India would be? We'd piss off everyone who's... Wait a minute, he's not even Hindu, he's Sunni. Well, we'd piss off all the Sunnis, which is Jaunpur, Gujarat, Sin, Malta. We'd piss off all the Sunnis. We'd piss off everyone from his culture group, which is the West Indians. That's a big culture group. That would piss them off immensely. Although Sindh and Gujarat are my allies, so my allies wouldn't give a crap. Multan is Punjabi, so Multan wouldn't care. And this area is under control of Vaginagar. That's a different culture group, so he won't care. The only one that's going to care is Bamanis. No, they won't. Babanis is oh wow no one's gonna fucking care if I eat if I eat Malwa literally no one will care because none of these guys are none of these guys none of this land is owned by anyone in this culture group they're all owned by people outside the culture group none of this land is owned by anyone in this culture group and these two guys are my allies oh my goodness I want to do this all right January 1st we're gonna fabricate on Gondwana and then go to war and eat Malwa. Wow. What am I doing? I'm insane. I'm insane. It's true. He's insane. Oh my goodness.
Welcome to Rival Town now, Mala. Enjoy your stay. Disagreeing advisor. They have been a faithful, ser faithful servant so far, but by now they seem to have grown too insolent. The advisor dares to denounce our great sultan's policies. And they recently did so in a public... Oh no, why would you do it in public? Lose prestige, but gain 25 points. I'll take points. Yay, we got admin points for free. We broke our alliance with Mawa. Although he wants the alliance back. We can't do it because we're rivaling him now. Oh man, it's going to happen. I wonder if we can do it before he annexes his vassal. I don't know, that's going to be tough. We have to get our CB, declare the war, and full siege him up before he annexes his vassal. I don't think it's possible. We're so close to an alliance over here. Oh, there we go. Alliance is in the bag. That's what I like to see. Oh, Malwa. You poor bastard. Okay, what's going on? Why do I have too many relationships now? Oh, it's because of my royal marriage with Malwa. I wonder if that's a problem. If I declare on Gondwana... Okay, no, I don't. it's not a problem. Okay, good. I was going to say, if I declare on Gondwana, will that trigger the royal marriage negative one stability? It does not. I know the timer. I know. Relax. Goodness. Relax. All right, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you for watching. I have been Shen. You have been you. We took a little bit of land from Orissa there. And uh, we're getting ready to maybe eat Malwa. If we can do, like, a lightning siege of his entire country, we can full annex him and take over his vassal. That That's, like, the ideal situation. It's probably not going to happen because he's already annexing the vassal and it's going to be done in just three years' time. But we'll see if we can do it. I'll see you next time. Have a good day.